probably never set the time on my watch. This shit the flex for me. You say she ain't here and she get wet for me. I was in the trenches, try my best to be a kingpin. Crushed the whole last year, now it's time to go again. Can't wait till this virus in, I'm packing out my shows again. Used to want 200, now it's four, you know I double shit. Soon as I catch nut, I'm gon' get up, I ain't on no cutter shit. Tryna fuck my bitch behind my back, that ain't no brother shit. Catch me out in traffic and some other shit. I did every. What's good, YouTube? This is my daily driver. It is a F06 640 Grand Coupe X Drive. It is a N55 powered uh, 6 series. It's actually the only BMW that ends with a 340 that's not a B58 powered car. So the 340, 440, 540, and 840 all are B58 powered BMWs, where the 640 is N55. I've owned this car since 2017. Uh, I bought it certified pre-owned from BMW of Bloomfield, New Jersey with about 7,000 miles on it. The car currently has 90,000 miles and it's been tuned on MHD Stage 2 Plus since 65,000 miles. I've never been stranded with this car. The car's never broken down on me. It's been an extremely reliable daily driver. Uh, the car started its life up in the tri-state area, New Jersey, New York. Had a pretty uh, rough couple of years, but now she's seen some better days in uh, Florida, you know, down here in Miami. The roads are a lot nicer, a lot easier on the car, and a lot easier on the wheels too. But as you guys can see, the car has been pretty, pretty heavily modified. It has stock turbos and stock fueling, but it, aside from that, everything has been done on this car, cosmetically at least. Um, my goal for this car wasn't to make it like anything faster than what it could be full bolt on stage 2 plus stock turbos just to keep the reliability of of um, stock turbos and stock fueling because if you guys don't know these N55 powered BMWs run for a while if you guys take care of them right definitely a lot more reliable than uh, any N54 that I've had or dealt with So today I'm gonna give you guys pretty much uh, a walk around of everything that I have done to the car. I'm not really gonna go over like what I paid for everything. I'll do that in another video, but I'll just give you guys a brief walk around of what's been done to it just to introduce this car to my channel. And this is the car that I drive the most, so. So to start things off on the outside of the car, the entire car has been paint corrected and ceramic coated with three layers of ceramic pro uh the, the car has not been washed in about two weeks and as you guys can see aside from the brake dust buildup on the wheels a little bit and the side skirts getting some water spots the car looks pretty clean like it honestly looks like it's just been washed uh, that's what ceramic coating does and it leaves it really really glossy all the time also every single carbon piece or exhaust tip anything that has been put on this car wheels included has been ceramic coated just for the ease of maintenance and it, it makes it look a hell of a lot glossier especially with the carbon pieces i know you guys know over time the clear coat the clear coat on those tend to go bad so just by ceramic coating it, it um you help keep it shinier longer and you don't have to deal with that peeling clear coat over time because ceramic coat adds an extra layer of glass over the original clear coat. So starting off under the hood of this car, uh, it is a N55, as you guys can see. Uh, what's been done to it is the car has a VRSF downpipe, a turbo smart blow up valve. You guys can't really see it. It's under the turbo, kind of hidden up under that front axle area. Um, the car also does have a VRSF metal charge pipe. You guys can see right over here. Um, the car also does have a VRSF intercooler. You guys can't really see it on the 6 Series because on the 5 and 6 Series BMWs, the intercooler is tucked up right behind the radiator. So you guys can't really see it, but it's there. And it really does help out with engine temps. 
It actually does make the it actually does make the car take a little bit longer to warm up after installing the intercooler. And then as a cosmetic, I have the Burger Motorsports uh, oil cap, or the oil uh, filter housing cap. Uh, the car has been pretty pretty reliable under my ownership. Nothing has ever broken on me, but that's probably due to the fact that I do a lot of things preventatively. So what I've done preventatively is I've done the water pump and thermostat preventatively because I drove it down from Florida to New York City and I was not trying to get stranded. Uh, one of the airflow pipes on it, the mass airflow pipes, I think it was the one, which one was, I can't even tell right now, but one of the mass airflow pipes had a crack on it. And it was giving me a little bit of a boost leak so i had to replace it i actually think it's this one right here yeah this one had a crack in it and i had to replace it um oh and i forgot to mention i do have the charcoal free filters in here i'm not going to take it out right now i don't have a torch screw on me but it does have the charcoal free filters it does give make the turbo spool the turbo spool sound a lot better um the car is also tuned on MHD Stage 2 Plus. I'm not running an E-Blend currently. The car is uh, on 93 right now, but on an E50 blend, this thing moves for a boat, for like a 4,500 pound car, this thing gets down. Uh, feels to the butt dyno, like a little bit over 400 horsepower. So it's not bad for a big car like this. As a daily driver, it gets down. Um, so a couple, oh, another thing that I did with the car was the the belt pulley was starting to rattle a little bit uh, before. So I went on FCP and I bought the whole entire, uh, what's it called? The serpentine belt or ignition drive belt some service kit and I took it to my local tech and I got it done and it has stopped shaking and it's been fine ever since but i've had the car checked for oil leaks the car is ninety thousand miles and as far as i can tell and my text can tell there it hasn't even been an oil leak so original oil filter housing and original valve cover and it's still good it's still good no leaks nothing just goes to show how far uh, these new bmws have came oh just letting you guys know the car is an electronic wastegate n55 so Turbo is a little bit bigger than the pneumatic wastegate ones. So to start things off with the front of the car, uh, the car does have the adaptive LED headlights. I think I believe all 2015 and up six series came with them. Uh, both headlights have been polished and covered in Expel light smoke. Um, as you guys can see, the car does have the m6 style double slat front grills uh it looks really aggressive way better than the chrome uh moving down towards the bottom of the front end the car does have the led fog lights and they are tinted in yellow and i believe that is laminex film uh moving down past the fog lights you guys can see the carbon fangs those are from ebay the car also did have a front lip below the fangs but with New York City roads, uh, yeah, uh, it was toast. And at the bottom of the bumper, the car does have the Gold V addressable RGB underglow. Um, it is hardwired to the battery, so that's why you guys see it running right now with the car off. Uh, it doesn't pull that much power, so I can have the car parked and just leave them running and go in. To a store or something or like at a car meet i can leave it on the whole entire time and it won't drain my battery but it will stay on and the car can be off so pretty cool um the shop that i had do it was the stand shop my boy keith's shop in astoria uh those are the go-to guys for everything for me um they did every single bolt on install almost everything they, to this car they've done so those are my guys. I'll leave the their link in the description. If you guys want to make your BMW crazy and you guys are in the New York area, definitely check out my boy Keith. Tell him Matt with the 6 Series sent you. He'll definitely know who I am. Um, and yeah, let's uh, keep getting on to the rest of the car. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned to you guys that the entire car is ceramic coated and paint corrected. So as you guys can see, the silver paint looks absolutely 
incredible and the car was paint corrected and ceramic coated over a year ago and it still shines like when it first came out of the detailer so and as you guys can tell every single part that i've put on this car has been ceramic coated uh lots of little things done to this car all right moving on to the side of the car uh these orange reflectors i had tinted and expel light smoke as well um my wheel and tire setup are the Vorsteiner VF 103s. Um, I'll give you the tire specs and wheel specs in another clip. So I'll start you guys off with my wheel specs as well as tires. So they're the Vorsteiner VF 103s. Uh, the backs are 20 by 10 and a half with a plus 34 offset. Uh, they are wrapped in the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, obviously, you know, nothing but the best. And I got the OEM calipers painted yellow and I replaced them with drilled, oh no, sorry, just slotted calipers with uh, ceramic pads for like, for less brake dust. Honestly, they look sick. And the color of them is uh, graphite metallic love the finish on them they're a little bit dirty right now but damn they look good also i, I got the red horse line and center cap just to add the little pop of color and i think it looks sick uh oh let me give you guys the tire size as well the rear is a 295 30 20 pilot sport 4s and the front is a 265 30 20 pilot sport 4s and my front wheel specs are 20 by nine and a half plus 22. So for any of you guys wondering the perfect wheel specs for a 640 Grand Coupe, there they are for you guys. I'll give you guys some better shots of the fitment. As you guys can see, it's perfectly flush. Pokes out a little bit. Doesn't rub in front at all. In the back, sometimes it'll rub just because the stock suspension on the H&R Springs is a little bit bouncy but for the most part it doesn't rub and it gives it a mean, 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 mean ass poke look at that can't get much better than that now can you? so the turn signal, side markers, whatever you guys want to call them on this car came in chrome so I had them wrapped in gloss black As you guys can see, it came out really clean and goes with the whole theme of the car. Moving on up, I have a carbon fiber M style mirror. Believe it or not, this car actually shares mirrors with the E65 series. So if you guys are struggling, any of my six series guys finding mirror caps for this car, you guys can look for E60 2008 to 2010 style mirrors and they will fit this chassis perfectly if you guys have a pre LCI six series um, from here I just want I'll, I guess I'll just go over my tints real quick for you guys the windshield is tinted 50% uh, it is the expel nano ceramic tint and the sides are, I believe, 4% Expel Nano Ceramic. Uh, I love these tints. They keep the sun out. Uh, protects my full leather interior, leather dashboard, all that stuff. So that's why I went with the ceramic stuff, just to protect my interior and keep me cool. cool thing is I have the door handles wrapped to match the interior of the car so it gives you a sneak peek of what to expect when you guys step in look I'll show you guys on the, the door panel right now you guys can see it's been wrapped in STEC or STEC Damascus PPF looks really really good just a sneak preview of what you guys get to see on the interior but a lot of custom work done in there as well 
moving on to the bottom of the car the car does have the PSM dynamic um, side skirt extensions they're two by two twill weave carp uh, gloss carbon fiber uh, if you guys didn't know the F06 M Sport and F06 M6 have the exact same side skirts so these extensions were actually bought for the M6 but they fit my car perfectly So moving on to the rear of the car, um, the car does have a three-piece rear diffuser setup. Um, it connects to the back bumper and it clips in where the stock diffuser goes. Uh, the car does have Akrapovich exhaust tips uh, with carbon fiber as well. And then on top of the trunk, the car has a PSM Dynamic rear spoiler. Uh, looks pretty good makes the rear end look really aggressive. I also put an N55 badge on the back I just think it looks cool and you don't really see it that much I see a lot of N54 four guys do it on like F10s and stuff, but I've never seen it done on the 6 series uh, Let me guys know whether you think I should keep it or not. I've been rocking it for about a year. I think it looks sick um, I'm not trying to be a fake M or anything, but I think it looks good So let me know what your guys thoughts about it is in the comments and yeah, that's pretty much the rear end setup and if you guys want to know my exhaust setup, it is a, a VRSF downpipe to the factory exhaust, and then I just changed the tips out. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's stock mufflers and just with a downpipe. So literally full factory exhaust with different tips and a VRSF three and a half inch downpipe, catless. <laughs> So getting inside of my 640, uh, as you guys can see, it does have the 6WB cluster from the factory. Uh, what that basically means is it's a full virtual dashboard, so it has a couple different modes. As you guys can see, it turns red for sport mode. And if you guys go down into eco, it does turn blue. Uh, the car also does have a full Alcantara Headliner from the factory looks really good. So, I guess to start things off with my interior modifications, we'll start with the steering wheel. So, the first thing or the first little things that I did was the blue push to start button and the blue M1 and M2 buttons. This car isn't an M, so they aren't really functional. Well, I guess you can make them functional because they do work, but there's no buttons behind it right now. So they push, but they're not functional. Uh, I did carbon fiber trim near the buttons on both sides, as well as carbon fiber paddles, which are extended more than the OEM ones. Uh, after that, I did a carbon fiber with Alcantara steering wheel with M stitching uh, it looks really good uh, the entire interior is wrapped in stack or s tech Damascus PPF came out really really good as you guys can see the car does have ambient lighting uh, it is go ambient lighting and it can all be controlled from the go app so what you do is you pull up your interior it pops up and let's say you want it to go from purple to blue you click blue right here and boom turns blue or red or green or whatever color you guys want and you guys can also do like diy and scenes and stuff because it is addressable rgb just like my underglow um another thing that i added to this interior is every single speaker in this car 
has been upgraded with the bath sound stage 2 kit and the subs in this car well you can't see them but they're under the passenger and driver's seat have been upgraded to the bath sound ghost subwoofer and it sounds so much better than the stock harman kardon anyone who has a bmw with harman kardon and thinks it sounds good uh has not had a sound system that sounded good because even the bang and olfsen sound system in the m6 and m5 doesn't sound that good it still seems like it needs more bass so definitely bath sound over bang and olfsen and harman kardon because anything that bmw offers is nowhere near as good as what bath sound or anything that you guys can get from the aftermarket the next thing i have done in the interior is um wireless apple carplay so as you guys can see it works with the dial as you guys can see you turn the dial it, it moves everything on the screen spotify works ev everything works as if it were a car that you bought from the dealer with apple carplay actually it's better than some of the 2018 2017 bmws with carplay because those you could only put it split screen this gives you full split screen carplay wirelessly and also uh with this you can also have it mirror your phone if you disconnect from carplay so anything you put on your phone you can put on the screen in like live real time and then when you want to get back to your stock bmw menu you just hold menu for a little bit and it comes back uh another thing i have done with this car is if i go to multimedia i have video and motion set up so if you guys put videos on your car via a USB um, and you guys use Beamer code or input, you guys can put on video in motion. So put the car in drive. I'll roll forward a bit here so you guys can see I'm going and the video still plays. Let me not hit this pole in front of me, but yeah, as you guys can see, the video still plays. So the whole entire car has been coded. So no seatbelt noises, no nothing. And then when you start the car up, I get the M animations and I think I have the Rolls Royce chimes if the doors are open. Okay. It's not chiming right now, but um, I believe I do have the Rolls Royce chime enabled. 